back to Fox 9 Morning News. Welcome back. Algae blooms getting worse really all across the state. Choking lakes, limiting recreation, raising health concerns, of course. We all know how dangerous they can be to both people and our pets. Well, uh, the Pine County community is launching the state's largest chemical-free treatment, trying an entirely new approach to lake restoration that they point out it works with nature instead of against it. So obviously we're curious about this and want to learn more about it. Joining us now from near Pine City is Kathy Nielsen, co-chair of the Pokagama Lake Association Clean Water Committee. Um, Kathy, it is so good to meet you. I'm very curious because we here in the Metro, we've already have a couple beaches that have had to close during uh, due to blue green algae. We're familiar with this green paint looking stuff. Uh, tell us about this, this new approach that you have found. Well, Leah, thank you for um, in being interested in our project. So what we are using this year is um, a technology called nanobubbles. Nanobubbles is a very specific form of aeration. The company that we're working with, Moliere out of California, has designed this engineered system to take air, ambient air, and compress it to purify oxygen. And then they designed a special screen that shaves that oxygen into nanobubbles. Nanobubbles are tiny bubbles, 2,500 of them fit on the head of a pin. And they have two very unique characteristics. First, they're neutrally buoyant. And so when you put them in the water, instead of rising to the top, the oxygen stays in the lake and it re-energizes the bacteria, the natural bacteria in the lake to begin eating the muck on the bottom of the lake. The hmm. second thing that's unique about nanobubbles is that they are negatively charged. So they push against each other. You put them in in one point in the lake and they can spread throughout the entire water body. And so the result of using that technology is that you get clear, clean, algae-free water and honestly it's quite remarkable yeah and we're, we showed some of the pictures that you shared with us it kind of is this white trailer that's parked and then kind of has a this orange tube that goes off into the water they've used this obviously in other areas of the country and it's been successful or how it's new to minnesota at least correct it it's it's fairly new to minnesota